Hello everyone, FunshineX here. I am back in my computer craft test world to bring you some tutorials on how to use this mod, how to program, how to build some really cool stuff. I've created a nice flat world with a little village. Uh, these villagers have, don't even know what's coming. They're sitting here with some stone and wood houses and we are going to upgrade them to the world of computers. Show some really cool things that we can do with that. And uh, after we get some really cool programs, we'll take those into my Let's Play world and uh, hopefully pimp out my world a little bit. So if you don't know how to program, you've never used computer craft before, this is the video series for you. Keep watching. I will teach you a lot of things that you can do with this mod that are really cool and don't take a lot of work uh, and uh, can get you over the maybe some initial fears or unknowns of computer craft on, on how to make it uh, work in your world. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find a nice home uh, to start upgrading. And this one right here that this guy's walking into looks great. We've got tons of room. Uh, go ahead and close the door behind you, villager. And this will be our computer craft room for our tutorials. So let me get rid of all this junk and get to the cool computer craft stuff. So Let's take a bunch of computers. Won't really need a disk drive yet, but let's go ahead and outfit uh, some of those. Let's get a nice big monitor. Uh, let's get a like two by three for now. And I want some maybe a regular turtle, a mining turtle. We don't really need to make them wireless yet, and that should be good for now. So. Let's go ahead and maybe get a table to put our computer stuff on. And put that there. Let's get our monitor up here. There we go. And our disk drive there. Let's put our modem right there. Okay, our computer is installed. Uh, I would also like to, uh, first things first, we got to keep people from coming in, so I'm getting rid of this door here, and installing an iron door. Nothing worse than a, a villager invading your computer craft room. Oh, no, I can't get in. Um, let's see. Give me a lever. Or redstone, anything. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Hey, hey. Did I say you could come in here? Kindly leave. All right, we need to, we need to fix this. So this brings us to tutorial one, and that's installing a security system. Let's get out of here. No more for you, no more entry. Good as new. And let's give ourselves a lever here to get in and out. Perfect. Okay, but we've got computers. Who wants to use a lever? Okay. Unfortunately, I'm used to red, you know, red wire from red power, so I don't do a lot with just vanilla redstone. So hopefully, I don't make too many fails with it. Um, let's see. I want to. Basically, all we need to do is get our computer to send a signal to this block. And let's actually make it a little bit deeper. Will that go through? Eh, if not, we can fix it later. 
because I don't want to show my red storm here. How embarrassing would that be? See, in red wire, I would just run it up the wall. Uh, anyway. Okay. Let's get out of there. We'll fix our floor later and turn our computer on. Uh, if you go to the computer class forums, there is a guy, I'm forgetting his name right now, I'll link it in the description, and uh, he wrote a really cool tutorial series that's in-game. So you can see I have a program called Tutorial here, and if I run that, it's like a book in Computer Craft that has all of the uh, how to use Computer Craft, basically. So you hit Start, and then you just hit Space to read it. And it tells you how to create a program, how to save it, how to run it. And uh, that even gives you a practice where you can do a simulation. And now it's like in a simulated environment here where we can say edit our Hello World program. And oh, it, because of the simulator, it's making you type. Okay. It's just letting us know that computer craft is case sensitive because of the LUA. Uh, once we're in our program, we can type all our code in here. We hit control and we've got save or exit. So you save it, exit, and now you can actually run it. All right. So then it goes on to the, the next chapter. So um, I'm not going to run through that because that would just be, uh, I think, kind of ripping off his hard work. So if you want to go do his tutorials, go ahead and, and go through that series. And then hopefully I'll and then you can watch my videos as well and you can have two sources of tutorials and you'll be uh, totally knowledgeable of computer graft and how to use it. So let me uh, exit out of this guy. All right, and we're gonna edit door lock. Actually, it's called open door. Right now, we're just going to print. Oh, man. I'm going to have to learn the language again. Is it case sensitive? Cool, right? <laughs> We've got a program that says Open Sesame, but it doesn't open our door. We need to, for that, we're going to need to control the redstone that goes out of our computer. Let me get a little more light in this room. Torches, where are you? Oh, I need NEI really bad. Really? I'm having that much trouble finding a torch. There he is. built this house did not put enough light in it. Okay, and let's go back to our program. Okay, but we want we don't want to just uh, print there. Believe, well, let's not worry about that. What I want to do is put it on our monitor, the status of our door, but we'll do the monitor later. Okay, so I'm going to quickly write down the code. I should do this ahead of time on how to control redstone, and we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, so to control redstone, it's really easy. Let me get to the end of this line here. All we have to do is type redstone, and then we do. All right, it's redstone dot uh, set output which direction we want to go. Top, bottom, left, front, back, right. And then what we want to do, so set it true. All right, control, save, exit. Does it set a redstone? Probably. Okay. 
Let's make this ugly for now. And then we can fix it later. There we go. Door opened. Cool. And then let's go to. It's not really scroll to the end. That kind of stinks. Let's do that. Um, sleep for five seconds, and then. Turn it off. Close our door. One, two, three, four, five. Door closed. Ha! So, in four lines, well, two lines of code, one line of code, really, <laughs> is this is the only important one you need redstone set output, which direction, and either true or false. Uh, that controls uh, our awesome redstone signal, opening our door, and then closing it behind us. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. I know this was really basic. I just wanted to get uh, something started. We will definitely get more advanced as we go. Um, kind of a silly application because we could just have a lever, but that's some thing about uh, industrial craft, build craft, forestry is overcomplicating some things on your way to automate them, meaning them. So let's uh, let's in the future we're going to use our screen a lot more. We're going to use uh, turtles to do some really cool things. We're going to make this building do a little bit more. You know, we've used torches right now. Let's not use torches. Let's use like red power lamps, so we can turn our lights on and off. We can uh, add security to our door, so we don't just you know click a lever or, or type open door, we can uh, ask it for a password to let us in here or not. So, and then we'll network a couple computers together. That's what's planned in the tutorial series, and uh, we'll keep going from there. Talk to you later. Bye.